obviously brought Chris Pine uh, back from Wonder Woman for I Am The Night. Yeah. What is it about him that you wanted to work with him again? And, and sort of in general, what makes you have a particularly strong bond with a certain actor like that? I've had it happen with several actors who you really, you get up to speed and you really know that person. So you see this incredible skill set that they're, they're capable of. You can spin them this way and that's fun, spin them that way. You know, Chris and I definitely have that, and I also think that he has a bunch of dimensions to him that I haven't quite seen him get to explore. I mean, like now at this point, I'm, I'm feeling like I just want to keep working with so many of the same actors because it is so fun. Like I had Connie Nielsen in it too, and you just spin her in a whole other direction and watch this whole other side of their personality come out, and now you have a shorthand. I, I love that. I, I'm, I love working with the same people. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you guys, when you're doing the big films and with the, uh, 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 Wonder Woman yeah. and Game of Thrones, <laughs> you have to prepare, I guess, and do yeah. the shot list for. Yeah, but, yeah, you uh, but, do. Uh, but still, there's some room to be. For to sure, always. I do it 100% of the time, but I don't do what I shot list plenty, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I always have to have a plan more because of forgetting a shot than anything else. Yeah, but it is, it's a funny thing about the big movies here, because then you're shooting one scene over 10 days. So you have to know what shot you didn't get if it's an action thing. Did you really like have scenes in Wonder Woman that <laughs> took 10 days? Oh, more. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, things like the beach battle and stuff, that's three weeks. Oh, that weeks. was crazy. Three yeah. weeks, you know? And that's what I'm saying, that stuff is actually lunatic too, because not only are you shot listing, but there were periods of time in the middle of making the film where I was like, please don't die, just please. Cause I was the only person who now knew <laughs> how like that compromise <laughs> I've made die. up for with that compromise. With There's no way I can explain to anybody how that's all gonna fit together because this changed and so I did that. So so you're like, oh God, I just, I just let me just get this whole thing together and pass it on to somebody. That's wow. the only yeah. reason you didn't want to die? <laughs> well, there are other reasons, but it's a new version of please don't don't die. <laughs> where you're sort of, there was a period of time where I was on a flight with one of my producers and it was three quarters of the way through the movie and I was like, if, and we had really bad turbulence and I emailed, I was like, if, <laughs> the plane goes down. Just know I'm not okay with that situation, <laughs> whatever. Like, <please>. Take three. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's someone who loves filmmaking. I do. First thought yeah. goes yeah. towards yeah. that. Yes, yeah. of course. Not, you know. It's you not know that Adidas thing. commercial we shot, just please make sure yeah. use the wide to intro. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, Ava and Patty here. Obviously, you two are both getting, you are directing also big studio movies, and we sort of know how rare that has been for women to get to do. Are your choices influenced by the fact that you are a role model in this space and, and you are one of the few that have gotten to do that? For the most part, I choose things, big or small or whatever, because I, because I want to and because I like it, because I'm into it. But definitely I have had moments in my career on my way up, which I've talked about publicly, some of them, where there was like a big movie I was gonna do that I could tell was not headed in a good direction. And I was like, it can't be me. It can't be me. If I do it, it's gonna be a huge deal that a woman did this. If a man does it, it's not gonna be a big deal, but if it's me, it's a huge deal. And so I do sometimes feel, I didn't feel it with Wonder Woman because I thought I was the right director, at least to try. I thought I was, I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan and I love the genre. Mm -hmm. So I didn't think about it. I was like, all I can do is do my best. Doesn't matter, woman, man, you know, who, it doesn't, it's not the point. But I, I have been thoughtful about it in the past of like knowing like, okay, I'm, I, and I think about it when I negotiate my contract and things like that, like it, it matters. It wasn't that long ago that film directors would have never worked in TV, but that has really changed. Why do you think that is? I always wanted to do television, and it was a funny thing because I like having the different options. So right after I'd made Monster, I made a concerted effort to go and direct Arrested Development because I missed comedy and I wanted to do it. It used to be more limited. There was only so many things available in, in television and so many things available in film, and now I think finally that has blurred. Mm -hmm. We're really getting a chance to do what you would do in a feature but longer. Through my years of doing television and film, I have definitely felt a part of 
the people who were trying to scale it up and have those conversations with people who haven't necessarily done that before mm -hmm. and sort of saying, yeah, no, no, we're, we're doing this big shot. <laughs> like, this does matter. We're not just doing a cut to stolen B camera exterior house. We're, we're spending the time and doing these bigger things. So I feel like nowadays we're, we're really so much closer to people understanding that. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Ben Stiller. I'm Ava DuVernay. I'm Patty Jenkins. I'm Adam McKay. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtables. Roundtable on YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube.